Connecting objects, typically known as connectors, portray a sequence flow or a message flow in a diagram. They can also be used to indicate an association. In this video, we shall show you how to draw connectors on a VPMN diagram. And if you want to label connectors, we will show you that too. All right, so drawing connectors in Envision. If you are a Visio user, you probably are used to clicking and dragging the connector from the palette on the side there. In Envision, that is not actually the best way to draw a connector, so I'm just going to delete that guy there. How you want to create a connector in Envision is to select it as your current drawing object. And then on the diagram, start inside of the object that you want to begin with. And you'll know that you're about to start drawing because you see the cursor that looks like mine with a little palette on it. And now I'm going to click and drag and I'm holding down the mouse button this entire time. I still have the mouse button held down. And then when I want to create a bend point, I let go of the mouse button and that's my first bend point. And then to create additional bend points, I click a single click of my mouse button. And every time I single click, that creates another bend point. When I'm ready to terminate my connector, I have two options. I can either double click, or if I go inside of an object and single click, it will automatically snap to the edge. Once I've drawn a connector, I have some options to make it look a little prettier. There are some auto options in Envision, and if you hit the bracket keys, it will rotate through some different auto options, just like that. If you don't like any of those auto options, you can adjust the connector on your own. And here's a few tips. If you grab inside of the hotspot, that's that little box right there, you'll notice I have the cursor with the black dot in the center. If I click and drag there, I'm gonna move the entire thing, disconnecting it from the object just as it is. That's not usually what you wanna do. Usually what you wanna do is just adjust either an end or a bend point. To adjust the end, I'm going to grab that little black handlebar, and now you notice I have a white center, not the black center that I had there. With the white center, I'm going to click, and that's going to move just that end. I can deselect it, but you'll notice it's sticky on the other end there. And then to move it to another object or even just to another spot in that object, when I let go, it will automatically snap it to the edge, so you don't have to worry about trying to line it up to the edge. The same thing is true for this end point down here. I can move it somewhere else or just simply adjust it. Now, if you want to move the bend points, again, you're going to look for that little black handlebar, your cursor with the white center, click and drag, and that's going to move that bend point. So now I am creating and adjusting the bend points, and that is the easiest way to move that around. If I want to move it to a different spot, once I drop it in the center there, you'll notice it adjusts right to the edge. So that is the easiest way to move and manipulate connectors within Envision. Now there are different types of connectors. Some have rounded edges. You can make them dashed. You can also make them just a straight line instead of what we call here a polyline. If you want to make it a straight line, you can either do that through the system administrator menu or again hitting those bracket keys one of the options as you rotate through those auto options is this straight line here. And now this is a straight line without any bend points in it to whatever I connect it to. So if you are using a model and your system administrator has defined what we call squared polylines and you would rather have just a straight line, hit that bracket key and rotate through until you come to the straight line. If a connector has a name, it will be associated with a spec sheet or properties sheet that stores information about that connector. This is useful for reporting purposes. To name the connector, just select the connector and start typing. Right click on the connector to display the spec sheet. The fields on this form are set up by your Envision system administrator. If the connector is checked out to you, you can enter data onto the form, then save or check it in and close it. Well, that's all for this video. We have shown you how to draw connectors and link them to data. To learn how to output connector-related data, check out the video entitled Building Matrices and Reports from Connectors.
Have a great day.